And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 60 Scholar Quest introduced in Stormblood. And as always, hello from Mifri. So, we are here in Limza Liminza at 11.6 in the upper decks. And uh, we need to talk to Alkazolka. And in case you're wondering what gear I'm currently wearing, I spent some poetics and I got the full, like, 270 set. Because it was really... Well, I'm do with doing the roulettes every day, having enough poetics to buy all this gear is really, really easy now. So, anyway, let's talk to him. So, the quest is called The Vanishing Act. So, Alkazolka is pleasantly surprised to see you. Uh, Mifri, that you should arrive at this very instant. It is as though the gods themselves have sent you. Not a quarter of a bell ago, I received a missive from Zuruto Kurito. An emergency has arisen at the, the Wanderer's Palace, and he has requested our immediate presence. Okie dokie. So, while the exact nature of this trouble remains unclear, we can scarce ignore his call. He awaits us at his usual place. Come, my friend, we haven't a moment to waste. Doo -doo -doo. Right, so let's go to Wanderer's Palace. I do like this sort of new world map. It is really cool. Because you can click on any one to teleport there if you've attuned to it. Which is really, really good. Anyway, so let's do this. And the good thing is, as well, questing in the old zones, you have increased ground mount speed, which you can actually increase even further by spending allied seals, but I haven't got that far yet. I am on a quest to get every class in Stormblood to 70. Every single one. Right, where do we go this way? So here is Sarito Carito. I did always think that the Scholar quest was interesting. The fact that Tom Breeze used to be Lalafell is very disturbing. So Alkazolka, Mifri. Thank you both for responding so swiftly to my summons. Forgive my uh, uh, brukeckness, but I believe it's best if we cut straight to business. I presume the both of you remember the invisible void scent we defeated not long ago? We could scarce forget such a vile creature. Well, you'll be pleased to hear that I have finished studying its remains, and believe a cure may be within my grasp. But mayhap cure is a slight exaggeration. What I speak of will only halt the spread of the sickness, not reverse all the effects it has had on our bodies. Sirita Karuto, you are far too modest a man. Truly, what you speak of is incredible, a miracle even. Alas, it is not to be praised for the progress I've made that I asked you here today. You see, Su Toto, one of my comrades, who has been assisting me in my experiments, has mysteriously vanished. I, I am terribly worried. While the rancor has subsided from most of our hearts, we still remain our Tomberry forms. Were we to wander too far from our home here, any number of organizations would be more than happy to have us hunted down. That is why I would ask that you, my two most trusted associates, locate and escort uh, see Toto back to Wondrous Palace before it's too late. Of course, we'll do it. We can only ignore the pleas of one of Nim's foremost scholars. So, Mifri, I have an idea of where we can start. Let us check with the Grand Companies to see if a bounty has been placed on Sutoto's head. Bounty? Let us hope it's not come to that. The Maelstrom Command is in Limza Laminza. There we should be able to ask the Hunt Bill Master if any Tomberries have recently been registered. Okay. Let's do this. So let's go back to uh, Limza. Let's go. So as I say, the best part of this game is the fact that every single class or job in the game has got a storyline quest. Every single one, even crafters and gatherers. Anyway, A for right, A for nat, the Aft Castle. Ok, 
Okay, so this way. Alley oop. Right, where's the bullmaster? There he is. So good morning to you, sir. How might be I be of service to you today? We're looking to say uh, uh, slay a tomberry. A tomberry, eh? We currently only have one tomberry marked for the hunt by the name of Marbury. Marbury, if I recall correctly, he was marked for the hunt for from even before Setoto disappeared. The possibility of there being a mix-up between the two is slim. It seems we must continue our search elsewhere. Uh, Mithri of the Scions, Alka, I wasn't aware the two of you knew each other. So, Rosshas, good to see you again. I think I may have forgotten to say so the other day, but I greatly appreciated your help with my training. You know I'm always happy to help. I don't suppose you've come all this way to thank me, however. What brings the two of you here? We're searching for an escaped Tomberry and thought it might have been marked for the hunt. A Tomberry, you say? While I can't promise this is in any way related, a few days ago back, a disturbance broke out on in Vesper Bay. They discovered a stowaway hiding in one of the ferries. Indeed? Witnesses say that a small green uh, blur leapt from between the crates and dashed out of sight as soon as the ship pulled into port. While of a similar size and build to a Lullafell or Kikern, they claim it looked far too alien to be either. Uh, thank you, Rassad. It sounds like you may have just given us our first lead. Mifri, after me. We make for Vesper Bay with all haste. Now, there isn't actually a um, teleport to Vesper Bay. So one of the quickest ways to get there is actually to take the ferry from Limsa. So if we go to the Aethernet Shard and we go to the Arcanist Guild, it does seem to be the quickest way. Then we'll take the ferry and we'll get straight into Vesper Bay like immediately. Let's talk to him. Travel to Vesper Bay for 80 gil. Yep. Skip that cutscene. At least you can like travel instantly. Like if it was Final Fantasy XI, you would have to wait for the next airship to show up. Okay, here is Alka Zolka. So, oh good, for a moment I thought I had lost you. Let us begin by questioning this man here. He appears to be one of the men the fairy uh, Rassas told us about. So, you're asking if I saw the stowaway. Aye, you bet I did. Now, it wasn't just any stowaway who what boarded our ship. Nay, I suspect it was one of them fellows, a gob, without a mask. Either that, or it's a rare beastie you can't find around these ear parts. Not that it matter, mind you. Whatever it was, the brass blades are after it, and you best be sure they'll catch it. Indeed, thank you for all your help, sir. So, if an organization that large has yet to find the stowaway, we've little chance of succeeding in such an endeavor ourselves. Rather than blindly rushing about, our time would be better spent gathering what information we can regarding this incident. I shall go and speak with my acquaintances in Uldar. In the meantime, I ask that you return to Saruto Kurito and inform him of all that we learned. So let's go back to Wanderer's Palace. So I'm guessing the story of Scholar from 6070 is going to effectively just involve us trying to find this Tomberry. And the quests are very, very unique. Like, so far, from what I've seen, the Monk quest has been about redemption of the Fist of Rauga in Stormblood. The Paladin quest line has been about a Paladin tournament. 
and this quest line is about finding a Tomberry. So, like, the stories are very unique. It's not just the same thing over and over and over again. Anyway, here's Sarito Carito. So, Mifri, I can only hope your swift return means you come bearing good news. Um, has crossed the sea and is likely now in Fanalan, you say? What could possibly have spurred our friend to do such a thing? Asurita Kurito, forgive my tardiness. I made a small detour to Uldar to speak with my associates. Unfortunately, they could tell me nothing aside from the fact that the brass blades are looking into who the stowaway might be. I've nevertheless asked that they do keep an ear to the ground and report to me should they learn more. Uh, thank you, Alkazolka. If, as you suspect, our friend has fled to the vast continent of Alenard, there is little sense in us conducting any more searches. Judging by the Brass Blade's inability to find their quarry, we should have no need to worry about the hunt or any other institution capturing uh, Setoto for now. Our best option is to wait until we know more. I am inclined to agree. Should I come across any new information, I will send word to you right away. Bye. So, there's a good chance this search will turn into something of a long-term effort. Bifri, I suggest you rest while you can. Cool. That's complete. So, the next Scholar Quest will be available from Saruto Kurito upon reaching level 63. The requirements for undertaking subsequent quests can be reviewed in your journal. Awesome. So, obviously, one thing that's nice about leveling up Scholar is that you level up Summoner at exactly the same time. So, it's two classes in one. So, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.